So what we're going to report on today, in 20 days after this we got our next update, but for now let's go over the new details on GP Racers, the new motorbike coaster coming for 2020 at Suzuka Circuit in Japan. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Oxtabon, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Suzuka Circuit in Japan and GP Racers. Now we do have some new details on the ride and also the announcement of a second attraction also opening on the 1st of March 2020 along with GP Racers at this new park, well at this current Japan park. Before we get started, make sure you go check out all of our news updates over the past few days and also throughout the channel's lifetime. Stay tuned for plenty more thrilling content and also make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And now let's get into this theme park newsroom update. So this is on GP Racers, the motorbike themed roller coaster coming to Suzuka Circuit in 2020. Now first of all we do have to mention that a second new attraction has been announced, that is Kart Attacker. So this is a go-kart attraction, we don't know more details than that unfortunately. All that we know is Kart Attacker opens on the same day as GP Racers, which the third, of, which the 1st of March 2020. Uh, so if you're down there in Japan, make sure you go and check it out. Uh, and now let's get in some details then on GP Racer. So I'm going to put a picture of the announced trains for the ride on your screen now. Fan Dabby Dorsey. Now the trains for the ride look brilliant, don't they? Um, I think that the uh, sort of uh, design of the trains look very unique, uh, in my personal opinion. Uh, and I definitely think that this could be a very good project. Uh, now looking at some of the details then. Um, we do have some details on the type of trains and how many people that it holds and also we've got some um, details uh, on the statistics for the ride as well so uh, the tandem type bikes um, hold two people uh, per car we have a 90 second ride duration on a 420 meter long track a 48 degree maximum bank angle, which is like a tilt angle, and a maximum speed of around 50 kilometers per hour. So in terms of details then, you can see the trains on your screen, they look very, um, very booster bike type trains, don't they? So uh, I think we're looking um, pretty much uh, at a new Vacoma motorbike coaster. However, they're not ruling out the possibility here of a Marison spike coaster. It seems like that possibility is still not being ruled out yet. Um, obviously, with the, the, the cool look of the train design, uh, that hints to us that it could be a spike coaster, just for the fact that, obviously, it's, again, like the Vekoma booster bikes, tandem formation, one person in front of the other in a two-person car. Uh, so it's the same, pretty much. Um... So we're not exactly ruling that out, but it's just from the concept type, look more of a comb than Marison, but again, that could just be the Japanese style of arting, uh, of artwork. So um, there's a possibility it could be a Marison, there's a possibility it could be a coma. Either one, either way. Now, 90 second ride duration is quite a lot, so I'm expecting a decent track layout here uh, for this coaster. Um, so there's a lot of things to take in for this project. But overall, I'm really excited about this. I think that uh, Suzuka Circuit, of course, they're like uh, a theme park next to a racetrack in Japan. Uh, they've got a couple of coasters already uh, from Japanese manufacturers and Asian manufacturers. Uh, but this is like their this will be their first European manufactured coaster. Because of course, Marison and Vekoma are both European, so this is their first coaster outside of uh, Asia manufacturing to be manufactured in terms of coasters so I think either one would work I think the booster bike uh, seems more likely just for the fact that of the, the the artwork looks more of a coma uh, and a lot of people say it looks more of a coma but it could still be a spike coaster because they're the most recent additions to parks recently and of course I'm sure Suzuka Zerk it likes to be hoped to uh, Asia's first spike coaster um, and also with the fact that we haven't seen a booster bike from Vekoma or like a motorbike coaster from Vekoma being added for so many years. Quite a few years since the last motorbike coaster that was introduced in Japan actually. Uh, that was the last sort of project for, for the motorbike coasters. 
So I feel like the Spike Coaster could be, with it being the more recent project and the more recent concept of Coaster, uh, there's a possibility it could be that. Or it could just be that Vekoma are getting back in with the booster bikes. You know, like they've been doing with the new Vekoma track with the other coasters types and the new coaster concepts. So maybe they're going to reinvent the booster bikes and introduce them in a new way with this new track design. So again, I'm really excited about that. Uh, so it should be an interesting project to follow. So again, not the biggest update today, but like I said in the intro, 20 days until the next update. So uh, hopefully when we get the news as soon as possible, we'll bring it to you here on Coast Channel YouTube channel. Keep you guys updated on the project. But for now, make sure you like if you've loved it. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a YouTube video by clicking the notification bell as well. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Killing the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.